did that. The seasoning is perfect. It's bomb, y'all. It's so good. So, so good. It's got a little spice. It's not like super duper hot. Just a little spice, but it's bomb. To the channel if you are new here welcome also if you're new and you have not yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the family y'all come on into the kitchen so i can show you guys this easy simple recipe okay you guys come on in the kitchen so i can show you the ingredients that i am going to use for my um chili mac all i'm using is seasoned salt garlic salt pepper for my seasonings and also this uh chili packet i have two but i'm only going to use one I'm gonna use some ground turkey. We're gonna put this to the side. I have probably a quarter of an onion. It's not even half an onion, a quarter of an onion here. I got my pasta. People use macaroni, but I'm going to use celatini. Celatini. Y'all, pasta, noodles, gummies. I know sometimes we use macaroni noodles, but I didn't wanna use that. This is what I wanna use today. So that's what I'll be using. I won't use this whole box because I'm not making a big old pan. It's only three of us here, and only two of us is going to eat this or not. You guys, and I have a brick of chili. So this is exactly what I would put in my chili, minus the beans. Okay, guys, so like I said, I'm going to use a little bit of this habanero branch and vine olive oil. My pot, my, my, my thing is a little too hot, so we're going to go in and uh, shut it down a little bit. But I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here, saute my onions. I'll say about a tablespoon a tablespoon I've never tried this that hot one so I don't know how that's gonna be y'all know I don't do hot so I'm gonna put my onions in here y'all can't really see huh so I'll take my onions up a little bit just a little bit okay you guys so I have my onions in here sauteing and I'm gonna add my ground turkey they don't need to get translucent because the ground turkey gotta cook so I just put them in there I'm gonna put my I don't like my meat to have those little strings in it, so I take my meat with my hands and I kind of squish it up because I don't like it to have those little uh they look like worms to me. I don't like my meat like that. <laughs> Some people do, I don't. So I just break it up. So you guys, this is the time that I season. I know a lot of people season their meat after they after it gets done, but this is the time that I season my meat. <coughs> <coughs> and let's say we're gonna use about a tablespoon. Of, you don't need to use a lot because you're also gonna use that chili packet. This is one pound of uh, ground turkey and some pepper. Stop. I was going like this. No, you have to chop. So you're gonna chop, because I like my meat little. I don't like big chunks of meat in my food. I like it like brown meat. So I like it little. So you guys, once this finished browning, I'll come back with the next step. Okay, you guys, so my meat is brown as I need it to be, because this is going to go in the oven, so it does not need to be well done, but it's done. It's a ground turkey takes no time to cook. So I'm gonna use my packet of uh, chili. I only like Laurie's, y'all. I don't like nothing else. Sometimes the store only has, <coughs> y'all, I'm sorry, but that garlic, that habanero garlic, I mean, habanero uh, olive oil getting to a sister's throat. So I'm gonna use that whole pack and I'm gonna add a little bit of water. So just a little bit. That wasn't even a whole pack of water. Just probably like two tablespoons for the water, maybe. So this is simmering. We're gonna let that simmer, but then I'm gonna prep, put my um, chili brick in here, my brick of chili. They have chicken chili, so if you are, you know, you don't eat beef. Y'all know I don't eat a lot of beef. They sell chicken chili bricks. 
but they didn't have it at the store today, so we using beef. So I'm gonna let this cook down, you guys, to where the um, chili brick intertwines with the meat, and then I will come right back. Um, so you guys know how when you was younger, your mom then made um, chili mac. I mean, what is that stuff in the box? Hamburger helper? That's what this is. It's just better. I didn't like hamburger helper as a kid, you guys. I did not like it. Didn't want to eat it, but I had to. Guys, I do not rinse my pasta off. I don't take the water off and all of that. Like I said, you want your pasta to be pretty much, you don't want it done. I'm gonna show you guys. It's actually less than al dente. But once you put it in the oven, that's just like when you make macaroni and cheese. You don't want your pasta to be super done. I've had people's macaroni and cheese and it's like, y'all cook the pasta too long. It, you don't want it to be done because you're putting it in the oven and all that moisture is going to cook it more. So you guys, this is my pasta. It's nowhere near done, but that's the way I want it to be. So I'm gonna add it to this in my little, uh, what do they call these, a spider? Some of the water from the pasta is getting here in this. Um, I can actually turn this off because I don't need it to cook anymore. Mix this together with the pasta, the water, the meat, the brick, the seasonings, all that good stuff. Put bread with this, you can put just some bread with it. When we was kids, um, we didn't have the luxury of garlic bread. You better go in there and get, well, they would go and buy that loaf from the store and use that garlic spread, but you know now they sell frozen garlic bread. You can buy all that uh, fancy stuff. Yeah, they didn't have that when, when I was a kid. We, we actually used some salad bread with that garlic spread stuff. If they had some extra money, they would buy the um, the uh, loaf, that little loaf that's now you get for like 99 cents. I think back then you probably got it for a point. Guys, so I am going to put half of this in this pan and I added some more noodles, you guys, because it wasn't enough. So I added a little more, still not the full box. So I'm gonna add half of this at the bottom so I can add some cheese so it, it can be nice and cheesy. So about that much. You don't have to grease your pan. If you want to, you can, but the meat has grease in it. Y'all, as y'all saw that I did not drain my ground turkey. Ground turkey does not have a lot of oil in it, so you don't have to drain it. I did not drain it. But I'm gonna add this, and then I'm gonna add some cheese. Lots of cheese, because y'all know that I love cheese. And then we will add the rest of this to the top. So you guys, this is nice a nice and hearty meal. You can have a, a salad with it. Like I said, you can do bread, garlic bread, or cornbread. Um, but it's it's already has pasta, so so you can do a salad. You can do some vegetables or nothing at all. Just eat it like it is. So you guys, I am going to put this in the oven for about 20 minutes. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to add some more cheese to the top, but I'm going to cover it for about 20 minutes because it's already done. It's done already. So I'm going to add some more cheese onto the top. I'm gonna put this in. So you guys, I'm gonna cover this with some foil. I'm gonna put it in the oven, like I said, on 350. I'm not gonna put it in my oven on 350, but put it in your oven on 350, but it all depends on your oven temperature. My oven temperature, I tell y'all, will burn this stuff. Let me move back so y'all can see. My oven te temperature, I tell y'all, will burn this stuff up. So I always have to do mine less. So I'm gonna put it on 300 for 20 minutes, covered. And then I'm gonna take the foil off and put it in there for like five more minutes just to get the cheese all bubbly and gooey gooey and stuff. So you guys, I will come back with the finished product when this is out the oven. Okay, you guys, this is the finished product. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with every and anybody that you know, and don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I post a video. Love you guys, bye. Mm -hmm. Ah.